What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody is doing good. I mentioned yesterday that I was going to reach out to my homeboy, Bakari, and I did. He's doing good. He just hasn't been on um, social media or anything like that, so... Bakari is doing good. He's just concentrating on uh, saving up a little bit of money, you know. It's very expensive out there in California, especially when you're living in your own place. So we're going to keep Bakari on the prayer list. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. Today is Wednesday. Throwback Wednesday. I have a good one for you. I'm, I saw a boy... At a, um, a school yesterday crying and whatnot. And I figured out why he was crying because he got dropped off in a smart car. And all his little buddies were standing outside laughing at him. I felt bad for him, but I know how he felt. So we're going to throw back the worst car that your family ever had when you was a kid. That you were so embarrassed that you didn't. That you did not want to um, be seen in. They just left this car here? Oh my God, somebody got tore up. And they just left the car in the middle of the thing. Unbelievable. All the airbags exploded. Explode. Just left the car here. Oh my God. They must have lost control. Right in the middle of my, um, my thing. Wow. So the worst car that your family ever had, and you were so embarrassed that you didn't want nobody to see you in, especially at school. Well, family, I have to tell you, I was one of them kids. My father, Alan King, may he rest in peace, he had a 1977 Plymouth Fury station wagon. This station wagon. It's probably the length of two SUVs put together. If you don't believe me, look it up. This station wagon was huge, man. I hated this station wagon. It was green and and wood. It was a two-tone green and wood. The wood uh, looked like it was falling off. It. And the green was like a uh, 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 baby poop green. It was just it was just ugly. I mean, it was just ugly. And I remember how he got the car. My father was a mechanic. And um, I say my stepfather, because my real father's name is George. Um, he was a mechanic. And he fixed people cars. And this old man, he fixed this old man car. He said, you want this this car? My father said, yeah. My father don't turn on a car. We already had a bucket. And um, my father, boy, I never remember. I'll never forget when he brought that, that ugly thing home and whatnot. The horn, he blew the horn. The horn sound like a gorilla stepping on a duck. That's how bad the horn is. It was just one of them ugly, ugly horns. And it was, it was when you hit it one time, it made two noises. It would go or something like that. Like I said, it sounded like a gorilla stepped on a duck. And um, it was just a big, ugly, what you call it. I remember, I think I was in the second or third grade. I never forget. And my my father, you couldn't park this thing in a parking spot because not today. It, it takes up two parking space. That's how big it was. It was bigger than a hearse. And I remember it was it was I never forget. Her name was Eva McCullough. I've been bullied as a kid by this girl. I, I I've been bullied by a lot of women in my life. But this woman, this girl, her name was Eva McCullough. I hated this girl. God forgive me. I know hate is a big word, but I hated this girl. If I see her today, guys, it's like Mike Tyson knocking out Sphinx. I'm going I'm to knock out in 90 seconds. That's how bad I, I hate this girl. Forgive me, God. But I am telling the truth. But um, I remember pulling up. My, my daddy dropped me off at school. Well, he picked me up from school because we got out of school early. And everybody was standing out front. And Eva McCullough seen my dad pulled up in this big, ugly station wagon. It looked like a green bus. And I remember her saying something. 
That look like kingfish. That look like that look like um big kingfish, cause they call my daddy for kingfish. That's why I got named. And uh, everybody looked. It was like Alan. That's your that's your father, Alan. And he was, she was like, Yeah, that's little kingfish. That's his father. And I'll never forget that, man. That's why I hated kingfish. And uh, everybody was out there laughing at me. I mean, yeah, was, she was just laughing. Everybody was clowning me. And then my father hit that damn horn. Come on, son, let's go. And I cried the whole way to him, man. They laughed at me, they joined him. So the next day, it was raining. I never forget, it was raining. And uh, we had, we had. I don't know why we was getting out of school early, but we was. And all the parents were picking up their kids. I don't know, something was going on. And it, it started raining, it was raining real hard. And my father come again. I was like, would you stop blowing that damn horn? <laughs> he pull up. He was standing outside. I was crying again. My father said, why are you crying again? I said, because you picking me up in this ugly, what you call it? And that girl right there told her, the whole school, and they laughing at me. My father said, oh, yeah? And it was raining. And for some reason, I, this is why I love my father to death. For some reason, he said, I got you, son. I got you. It was a big puddle of water right there where he with McCullough was standing at. I didn't know what he was doing. But my father backed that hearse up. And he said, watch this. And he was driving. And she was laughing. And all the little kids that were standing beside her laughing. My father hit a puddle of water. I mean, it looked like the, it looked like he ran through a freaking sea. All that water. I mean, it, that water just went on them kids, knocked them down, <laughs> but not. Of course, uh, my father got in trouble because they told the principal. But that's the day he didn't. The next day he didn't come. He didn't drop me off or pick me up. I had to take that blow by myself. I did not. I'm like, nah, he, he ain't do it on purpose. But he drenched them kids, man. They father and mother came up to the school. They were looking for my father. They know my father. They ain't want nothing. Alan King was crazy. That man stayed strapped up. Alan King was crazy. They ain't want nothing. But he wet the whole, I mean, he, who, it was like 10 kids out there laughing at me and whatnot. And they called my, this is before the Swamp Thing came out. That's what they used to call my father, called the Swamp Thing. And whatnot. So they gave a, uh, they named my father Carl after a movie before the movie came out. Ain't that about nothing? Yeah, guys, so your most, your most embarrassing vehicle that your family had and had to pick you up that you were just totally embarrassed, man. Totally embarrassed. I seen, I was on the internet, and I said, let me see if I can find my father car. I put that sucker and showed up. They had a light blue one. They had a light blue. And how I know it was a 1977 car, because I was seven years old, and my father said, you the same age as this car. This car was born in 1970, but it's a 19. It was a 1977. That's how I remember. And I looked it up, man. Showing up, I seen that big ugly thing. I give you another story. One time, uh, all my little friends, Flem and all them, we wanted to go to the beach. It was about 15 or 16 of us. We wanted to go to the beach, and uh, my father got off early. He was a truck driver, and I asked my father. I said, "Hey, can you take us to the beach?" It was like 15, 16 people fit in that car. That's how big it was. I remember, it was me, Flem, two other people up front. It was like six something people in the back seat because it was a bench. And then in the in the back, my father didn't keep nothing in the trunk. Did you know the part that opened up? You could get six, seven kids back there. So it was 20 something people in that car. Probably could have fit 35. That's how big that sucker was. If you don't believe me, look it up, family. And we had to go to church in that big swamp thing. People at church used to laugh at my father. Like, where the hell you get that from? That's the first time I heard hell. Where the hell you get that from, Kingfish? He was like, ain't it beautiful? Ain't it beautiful? I bought, I got this for fixing a God car. I was like, beautiful, what the hell? <laughs> Anything that was on four wheels and started up, it was beautiful to my father. My father had some tore up cars, man. I ain't lying, man. But this was the worst one, man. This was the worst one. So family, you gonna throw it back at me, man. The most embarrassing vehicle your family ever had and had to pick you up from school and you just got tormented by it. 
Man, that, that car. And the sad part about it, man, people that didn't even know me uh, would see me and say, you remember your father had that, 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 that swamp thing? I'm like, who the hell is you, Bubba? I don't even know you, and you remember the car that my father had. How you know me anyway? Probably one of them kids in elementary school that even McCullough got to laugh at me. But yeah, guys, that, that's a good <laughs> throwback. So that made me think about the kid that was in the smart car. Them kids, was, they was like, you don't even have a whole car. <laughs> it was a bus, and I'm telling you, it was a bus. I, was, I got caught behind a bus yesterday on my way to work. And it was so happened that it was right there at the school. In the neighborhood that I was in, the school was right there, so I can hear the conversation. And he just was crying, man, and whatnot. I felt so bad for that kid. But them kids, the kids are horrible. They was like, your father got a half a car. Your father got a half a car. You don't even have a trunk or a back seat. I mean, they were just riding on this kid. And I, I was just, I, I, I looked at the kid. He, I just wanted to tell him, just give him the finger. But I didn't want to do that, you know, because this, 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 this is a family channel. I didn't, I didn't want to do that, but... Um, I hope his father told him some better stuff than my father told me. My father, I forgot what my father said. And they tease you, tell him you can pick up the whole neighborhood. That's not, that's not, that's not something you want to tell a kid to tell somebody, you know. When they named your father called the Swamp Thing, he told me I could pick up the whole neighborhood. But the car was good for, and he moved the whole house in that car. I bull crap you not. He moved our whole house in that car. I never forget it. Never forget it. That's how big that sucker was. He moved the whole house. The couch. He put the bed, the table. Everything that we had when we moved from one house to another house. My father used that car. And the sad part about it, man, he tried to paint that thing and he made it worse. And thank God I was he got rid of it. I think I was in oh, shoot. I think I was in elementary. He got rid of it by the time I got to high school. But yeah, man, I got teased by that car, man. I didn't even want to go to church. I didn't want to go to the store. We went to the store, man. And and you, my father would have like five bags. And they'd be laughing like, damn, man, you got that big old wagon and you only got five bags. I was like, dad, can we at least get more bags so people can stop laughing at me? This this, this as a kid. And my father would laugh because he, he just thought that was so funny, the, what, what I was saying out of my mouth. But I was dead serious, man. It's something that your how your family uh, vehicle can just ruin your life. It ruined my life, man. I'm telling you, man. All right, family. Let me go. I'll be back. I'm back, family. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to pull up because some of y'all, let me pull up in the shade. I don't have a um, schedule today. I'm doing the, the dash now features. Which I know I'm wasting my time. Plus, I got to go to work early today. I know I'm wasting my time because uh, in Tampa, it don't turn repeat till 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> we making this money out here in Tampa, man. These guys do not play, man. They don't give up no schedule unless they got to, you know, something happen. I have never seen it turn pink and whatnot. Late at night. But let me see if I can pull up this, guys. Y'all need to see my embarrassment. Hold on for a minute. I remember that car, boy. Best car my father ever had was a 1979 Roadrunner with a 440. Oh, he was proud of that thing, man. His boss, had, um, Larry, had gave it to him. Okay, Google, a 1977 Plymouth Fury. Stop playing with me. 1977 Plymouth Fury. There we go. What the hell? I got. Oh, I didn't say station wagon. 
wagon. The car itself was a beautiful car. Hold on, let me see if I can get a side picture. Ah. This is the Plymouth Fury. My father had a green and wood. It was like a forest green and wood. You see how huge that thing is? That thing took up two parking space. And you couldn't, like, my father at church, at church, that, that, that station wagon was so big. My father had to park in the church um, bus zone. Because they said the car stuck out, stuck out too far. Uh, the parking the parking space. So my pastor told uh, uh, my father he could park on the side of the church. So the good thing about parking on the side of the church, people didn't see you get in your car. But my father had this thing, man. When he left, he had to blow his horn. That horn was horrible. So I would duck down in the seat. And the good thing about it, guys, this is what I used to do. When, when it was just me, my stepmom, and my father. Because my sister and then they was with my mom. I could stand up in the in the car and run from one side of the door to the other side with no problem. I mean, that I I just had so much room. It was lonely in that that car. But yeah, guys, I had to share that with you, man. That boy getting that little boy getting in that smart car, them kids teasing him, man. They were saying some horrible things, man. <laughs> I, I I love the little smart car. It's, it's a cute little baby car. But yeah, man, and it was yellow. It didn't help that it was yellow. But Lynn, doing the do, and tomorrow, I just want you to know, since y'all been talking about my Dunkin' Donut, I mean, I haven't been getting nothing but 10s. Got another 10 today. I had one nine and a half in six days. All 10s, baby, because that's what we do. They feel my pain. I've been going through the same one. They've been, this, uh, Ron and his his friend uh, that he taught how to make my coffee had just been doing an excellent job so shout out to Ryan and I got to get the young lady name doing a good job making my coffee uh, I gotta save some coffee because wifey made some coffee this morning but yeah man y'all gotta throw that back this is DoorDash schedule I, um, thanks to Rick and we helping each other um, we are uh, Helping each other with the schedule. When I see it drop, I let him know. When he see it drop, he let me know. Uh, but I missed two days last week. I missed um, Tuesday and today. I had 6 o'clock to 6.30, but I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything. So right now, they got Tuesday. I got some for Monday, thanks to Rick. They got Tuesday and Wednesday up now. But it probably won't drop to about 10.30 and 1 o'clock. I'm going to be on that phone like a hawk, man. telling you guys, I don't play. I'm going to be on that phone like a hawk. I got to get the schedule. Now I got to set my doors up. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, family, that was a wild, wild, wild thing right there. That, 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 just seeing that kid brought back so much memory, man. I forgot all about that 19 Plymouth, uh, 1977 Plymouth Fury. I remember talking about it briefly in one of my videos, but that horn, man, oh my God. That horn my father used to blow just drive me crazy. And, and, it, didn't, and it, it didn't even affect my stepmother. She was like, they are like they were damn president of the United States and the, and, the, and the first lady blowing that daggone horn and waving at people. I was hiding, man. I was hiding. Yep, my father used to move people in that daggone, what you call them. I guess he was excited. My father's just a car man. That thing could have had three wheels and, and, and just three wheels and, and just a hubcap. My father would have been happy, man. Alan King, man, he, he, he definitely never turned down anything in his life. Never. 
That man was so happy when you gave him something, man. He ain't never turned down nothing. You know? That's why I love him so much, man. He was, he was a great guy, man. A great guy. Gave me his name and raised me knowing that I wasn't his kid. That's a, that's a hell of a man. Hell of a man. But, uh... May he rest in peace. I know he up there in heaven telling people about that 1977 Fury. And that, that, um, 79, um, uh, shoot, Roadrunner. He was the king of the street when he had that Roadrunner. He named my sister after Chevelle. He loved the Chevelle so bad, he named my sister Sabella. <laughs> It's about almost like Chappelle. Yeah. Good old days, guys. That's why I love Throwback Wednesday, man. Throwback Wednesday, guys, believe it or not, is one of my favorite days. My favorite days. I love Throwback Wednesday. They get to reminisce, man. And that's what we're missing in some of our lives. We don't get a chance to reminisce. All we think about is the present, you know, and the future. We don't, we don't think about... When you're down and out, you don't go back to your happy days when you was little and whatnot. You need some Fonzarelli in your life. Happy days. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that just in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, man, but... Throw it back, fam. I know y'all got some, man. If you was born in the 70s, if you was born in my era, the 70s and the early 80s, you had some ugly cars in your life. Trust and believe that. Whether it was an El Camino or it was one of them Dodge Dusters or whatever it is, you had an ugly car in your life. Please throw it back. Don't let me be the only knucklehead out here that, that went through what I went through. I know y'all family got some. I was so glad that Alan King didn't get the... Somebody gave him a bus. A little miniature bus. I was so glad he couldn't get that thing running. Cause we probably would have lived in that thing. <laughs> My father was always looking for something rent free. I'm telling you guys, I had a rough as a kid. In the early days, my father would ride by abandoned house. He'd be like, "Boy, that's our next home right there." I'm like, "What? It ain't got no windows. It ain't got no roof." Come back a couple weeks later, my father done went there, fix everything up. Hooked the electric to somebody else's electric. I told y'all, boy, he was he was a bad man. He was a cheap somebody. He was a bad man. I, I never forget when uh, our neighbor, I, I told y'all a story before. My father used to steal the people next door electric. And this man, man, he was, uh, I don't know what he did, man. But every week, man, every month, him and his wife be fighting, arguing over the daggone electric bill. Alan King be sitting, in, sitting on the porch listening to him and whatnot. And I don't know if he ever found out that my father was still in his electric. But, you know, at a certain time, he was like, y'all gotta cut everything off. You know? <laughs> but other than that, man, he always stole somebody electric. And if we didn't have electric, we had the kerosene lamps that burn all night long. That with the wick, that was our electric. I'll tell you guys, back in the early 70s and 80s, man, it was rough on the brother. But it make you appreciate it. It make you appreciate life better when you go through some things, man. When your upbringing is just peachy and cream, I found that most people can't deal with anything. But when you struggle and you've been through some things, man, when you walked in the same shoes that your feet got so big and you just bust out the shoes, that's when you got a new pair of shoes, then you can holler at a brother. You feel me? Embarrassing moments, but also it's... Uh, uh, a moment full of rich memories that make you keep you humble you know what I mean keep you humble I would rather take a homeless man and buy him a pair of shoes than to, to, to give him a couple of dollars because your feet man whew, you gotta take care of them dogs man I remember one I remember my shoes look like they was just well, my feet look like you know they some of the shoes that I wore back in the day may make your feet look like they uh, 
I don't know. I don't know how to put it. You know what I mean? But thank God I don't have a terrible feet. My feet is fine. You know, because what I did was, study why small shoes, I always wore big shoes. So I always wore like a duck. <laughs> Something about ducks, man. Nahum. And my wife, she loves ducks. But she'll tell you, when them ducks be making noise, man, I got to get away. Because I think about my father in that car. But yeah, family. Y'all got to help a brother out. Y'all got to give me something to laugh at, man. Like I said, I'm doing the dash now. Yesterday, I had a good day. Not yesterday, I'm sorry. Monday, I had a good day. I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't dash Tuesday. Uh, that was wifey day. And today, I'm just doing the, the dash only. I'm waiting for it to change pink. I'm waiting for somebody to drop something. If they don't drop nothing, that'd be two days without dashing, man. I think I'm going to lose my mind. And uh, I hope I don't. But uh, if this car's still up here, I think I'm going to call 911. Because it's, it's, it's um, whoever had this accident left the car. All the um, airbags went off. It hit something real hard because the tires is bent under. This type of, I'm, I'm pretty sure this, this is, you know, I see all the cameras. Let me slow down because I see the popo -po park in the middle of the street. He, he act like he's turning, but he's not turning, guys. He got, they, they, they love, they love getting his tickets. They sit at the turning light, but they don't sit all, sit, sit all the way up. They sit all the way back so you can go around them, but they sit there and they just run radar all day long. Hey, Mr. Popo. In that truck. You get a ticket in Tampa, you deserve it. The streets are fast enough. All the streets is 45, 50. And whatnot. I think it's maybe one or two streets that I've seen since I've been here that was 30 or 35. The rest of them been 45, 50. So there's no reason why you get tickets. And the highways are 70 all day long. You drop down to 65. So that's, that's fast. It's true, guys. When I was young, I used to fly. I used to go, it was 80 miles per hour everywhere I went. But as you get older, man, and you see, see a lot of accidents, your, your views change, man. You slow down. Especially when you're in a state that people can't drive. Y'all think I'm joking. A lot of people say New York. Uh, New Yorkers are the worst driver in D.C. They some of your best drivers because they drive under pressure. But Tampa? It's it just, just, I haven't. I, I, it just ain't no good drivers in Tampa. I sound like I was having a seizure. But it's not a good, there's no good drivers in Tampa, I'm telling you. They make you look like you drive bad. Did you steady swerving? Yeah, that car's still there. Okay, I see somebody. Yeah, they, somebody calling. Somebody making a call. Thank God there's nobody in there. And it's a shame that I had to go all the way around. Yeah, it's a young boy, too. What's a young man? Oh, yeah. He tore that. He tore it up. I see him. He's out there, fam. I should have asked him, is he okay? Well, he look okay. All right, family, man. It was nice making this video, man, because I got a chance to reminisce. And Wednesday is my favorite day. Throwback Wednesday, man. I throw it at your family, you throw it back. Also, I want to thank God for waking me up this morning, family. I think it's important that you get things, man. I, I want to live a long, long time, man. The only way I'm going to do that is drink coffee and make videos. <laughs> and don't piss my wife off. Because <laughs> I got to eat a cookie. All right, family, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. All right, family, I love you. Y'all take it easy. Peace.